it, but now the mountain of a man. Wait a minute! Step ball, stay BRG! Well, Lois is not what hit him there. He didn't take the big man down, but he's gonna try again. Catches Malone's again, almost teetering. And that is the fastest Tope Suicida in the game. Get your radar guns out. Like a redwood. Wait a minute, not again. Third time the charm. Malone oh. says no. Got him, goes on. Oh, God. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Might that's, be over oh. before it even begins. That's the hardest part of the ring anyways, but especially if... Larry Huntley provides the ring. Oh my God! Larry Huntley's ring. Brian Malonis' choke slam. Yes. These things. This, this one, is this one even gonna get underway? Right. We're, we're, this, this is a contest now. Malonis doesn't even take it off his sunglasses. He don't care. He's confident enough. Oh, just haymakers. Oh, there we are. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and not giving BRG any room to breathe. Brett Ryan Gosson, like I said. To say that perhaps he is the most improved here at Limitless Wrestling. Riding a, just a, like I said, a runaway freight train of victories here, but I, I think this is where it has come up and comes. I do have to go with Malonis here. You'd be hard pressed not to. Especially if he's listening to commentary afterwards. <laughs> By picking you, Brian Malonis. Now, if the sports books were analyzing this, you'd have to believe that they'd be leaning in favor of a new champion tonight. Let's say, talk about leaning. Ryan Gosling is going to be leaning to stand up here, just running into a brick wall. Malonis now throwing him right into the second turnbuckle, the middle turnbuckle. Yeah, and, and BRG and is looking worse for the wear here. You know, he jumped Malonis from the bell, but it doesn't look like it mattered at this point. Yeah, absolutely not. Malonis weathered the early storm and is now implementing his game plan. Look at he's, like, he's got his glasses off at least. My goodness, no, wait a minute. Let's wrestle championship. That is what is at stake here. That might be a very frequent sight in the near future, folks. I was going to say, fresh off their fifth year anniversary. Yes, sir. We got another one coming up in August. You can check that out on the LimitlessWrestling.com website as well for more information on Let's Wrestle. BRG thrown from pillar to post. And BRG. You saw him oh, briefly goodness. contemplating leaving the ring, catching a breather. Malone is not even giving him the quarter to do so. Unless that, of course, gets to a count of five. You already saw Greenleaf eject. Oh, goodness. We already saw Art get ejected here at ringside. Greenleaf is in no mood tonight. Johnny Torres. Right away, yeah. That might as well be just as effective as a power bomb. Pulling him all the way up into the air, just dropping him on his back. 20 plus year veteran. Trained by Walter Killer Kowalski. Maybe you've heard of him. Former Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Former Ring of Honor competitor. Absolutely. Bouncers with the Beer City Bruiser. Yeah, former number one contenders for those ROH Tag Team Championships. Certainly. He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best in the world. How about Ivar from the Viking Raiders? How about Tommaso Ciampa? And it's maneuvers like that elevated sidewalk slam that netted him victory in multiple of those situations. And this could be another one right there. Two. Getting up quick out of there. I think it's, again, out of instinct. But he just did it very quickly or else he would not have had the strength to get up. Maybe he's thinking about it right now. And Malone is keeping the pressure on. Grabbing him by the nose. You don't know how much it hurts until someone the size of that guy grabs you by the nose. Once again, getting BRG in the corner. Oh, my, oh my word. Lays him out with a chop across the chest. It's like a cast iron skillet being driven across your chest. I was say, Brian Malone is over the past year and a quarter, has got himself back into fight into shape, has lost a lot of weight, and that's going to improve that mobility. Has always been mobile for a big man, but you're feeling a lot better when you take off 75, 100 pounds even. Absolutely. Teetering at 400 and change right now. And no, and, and, he, and at that previous stage you were talking about, Top Shelf, he would not have considered a maneuver like this. The second rope is also, you know, high risk. You're hoping for high reward if you're Brian Malonis. And a, like a super plus. This is, I don't believe this is I've ever seen this out of Brian Malonis. But BRG! Oh, thank goodness landing on his feet. That might have been if he fell from the second row. Oh, BRG able to out the fly over the out the back door and now. Forearms and now punches. 
Catching Brian Malonis here. I'm surprised. He's got some sting on those rights. Might have, could have jammed up that knee, perhaps, falling from the second rope. Big guys like him don't belong up there. Drop kick. Nicely done, BRG. Keeping Malonis off balance. BRG has found his opening. Brett Ryan Goslin catches him once again with a forearm. Now one more again. time. Catches him. Trying to bring Malonis down to size here. Look at that. I don't know about this. Oh. Whoa. 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 Takes him down to two knees. Not quite all of it. Oh, Brian Malonis, my goodness. You know, I said improves cardio, but not when it's as muggy as can be here in this building. It could be affecting him. Catches him flush with that super kick. Right back up is a Malonis. Otherworldly fortitude out of Malonis. That, that super kick. It's the type of thing that brings BRG the Let's Wrestle Championship. Timber cover two. Officially crunch time if you were Brian Malonis right now, especially if you're BRG. He's got to keep things cooking here. Yeah, both champion and contender worn out at this point now. BRG back up to his feet. Malone is now back up to his feet. What do you do if you're BRG? Yeah, I was about to say, that I'm prettier. Is that, is that the effective move here? Is he able to hook it? Not quite. We've seen him use that patented diamond dust in the past. Perhaps he can get an advantage from coming from the second rope. Might be his best bet. Well, there, he's talking about that second rope. Gets caught! Gets caught! New champion, Brian Malonis! Only two! Only two! How? Eric Greenleaf calling him how he sees him tonight, and I gotta agree. You said you saw the fear in Eric Greenleaf's eyes. I'm gonna tell the kingpin. Oh boy. But the women, it gets to Brad. Here we go. Earthquake splash! Oh no! Oh no, you can hear this crowd! Cover! Oh. Barely gets the shoulder up. With the crowd shit counting along in unison, I have to believe 90% of this room believed we had a new champion. Did you hear the, the unified groan from this audience when that earthquake splash was hit? Unbelievable. The only person that knows how BRG weathered that is BRG. Ryan Malone is good try. Even Malone is now trying to figure out what it is. He hit him with that the sidewalk on. slam. He hit him with that boss man slam. He hit him with the earthquake. He's going to do it. No sweat, I guess. BRG getting back up to his feet. Overhand chop. No oh. dice. That might have taken more out of BRG than it did Malonis. Yeah, that might have been all he had left. Now you're play. watching and you're in the Let's Wrestle locker room. You want your opportunity at the Let's Wrestle Championship. You want to compete with BRG for sure, despite how, like I said, how active he's stayed, how victorious he's been. But now you're looking, you're thinking about Brian Malonis. Oh my word! We've seen this before. Oh yeah, Brian this, Malonis. This is what laid out BRG last month. No. A drabbing on the outside of the ring. Oh, he does some of his best work outside the ring. Oh my oh. word, no. Ah. Eric Greeley's got to be applying it count. He's got to be keeping a close eye on this one. Shut up. <laughs> and I mean, at some point, yep. Eric Greenleaf laying down the count. You saw he was thinking better of it for a moment. Count up to four here. Malonis. Really? If he, if he hits this power bomb on the apron or the post again, all the way up. Where's he gonna put him here? Face first! BRG reverses it! Last possible second. A last ditch effort if you're BRG. Back in the ring. To the top oh. here. B. Tornado DDT perhaps. Get him! Off goes the headband. Cover! Unbelievable! Only two. Only two. BRG now. Back in the contest. We thought outside the ring might have been all she wrote for the reign, potentially the career of BRG. But how quickly the tides turn here at crunch time. You can see the frustration trying to figure out what he can do to put away Brian Malonis. BRG now. Getting back up to his feet. Measures Malonis. Yeah, baby. Malonis still able to put on the brakes there. 
That 20 years of pro wrestling instinct. Plus, once again, almost gets him, reverses it. Back to the buckle, goes BRG! Oh my goodness! Oh no! Oh, gets him! The oh, hip listen to this! They know it, they're feeling every single blow from the front row to general admission. Now that wasn't just a hip attack, that was a hip attack from hell. Once again, gonna be going for that superplex, and this time I gotta believe he's gonna get it. Is he gonna deadlift it from the apron? He wouldn't. He's going to. No way! Get him in! Wildly impressive from the big man. New champion. Are you serious? What the hell? What the absolute hell? Brett Ryan Gosselin's heart outweighing his brain here, Johnny Torres. How much more can he take until he's nothing but a fine powder? Even Brian Malonis, though, as we get into the deeper minutes of this contest, the cardio advantage continues to stay with BRG, but now cardio comes into question if you're Brian Malonis, who once again finds himself on the outside of the ring. What's he looking for? Might be looking to refill those energy reserves, catch his breath. What is he doing? Taking a walk. Walk up this way. Malonis, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, come on. Went to the Brian, back wall. You don't need it, man. Come on. I'm not telling you what you need, but you don't. Oh, you don't man. Top nah. shot, buddy. Buddy, just let him go. Let him go. I'm alone. Is getting, you can forget about it. He hits him with a chair. BRG is going to defend that championship. Yes, indeed. Well, at least this might be the last offense of it, depending on what he plans on doing with that steel chair. He, Eric Greenleaf letting him know exactly that. Malone is now. Oh, oh, hold on. BR, BRG is taking this time to recover. Greenleaf isn't putting up with it tonight. I'm telling you. Well, that's that's a bowl of courage. Super oh. kick. Landing flush. BRG with time to recover. Diamond Dust gets the big man down. He's got him. Oh, wow. Malone's with the instinct immediately. He's trying to turn over. BRG opting not to cover, but we've seen him employ that top rope the elbow drop to great effect. No, that gets it again. Tries to run to the heart of Malone's. Into the cover. Two. BRG. Right. 